In this very video, I'll be treating angles. Now, what are angles? Angles are simply a measurement of the space between two intersecting lines at a point. Now, look at this. If I have two lines coming together, these are two lines coming together. Between them, there's a space at this very point. This space is an angle. So we can measure this very angle. Now look at this. What if I have, look here, what if I have this very line, this is a single line, then another line comes in this very way. There will be an angle here because this is a space between two lines. So whenever we measure this very space between two lines, it's normally measured in degrees. Normally measured in degrees. So this very thing is what we call what? An angle. Now please take note. An angle can be like this. Look at this. So if I have this very guy, I have this straight line here. For example, I have this straight line here. Then this is the, let me call this the starting point. Starting point of something. Now this very line then starts moving up. Then we have something like this, the starting point. Then it starts moving up. We have this very direction. Now what would then become the angle? The angle will then become from this point upwards. From this point, it's going up. We can have another line at this very point. Remember, since this is starting point, another angle can be from here to here, something like this. We can also have here, this very guy. Since it's still coming from this side, we'll be having an angle that will measure the space from this starting point to this very finishing point. So what did I say? We normally measure angles in degrees. Normally measure angles in degrees. But that doesn't mean that angles are the only, that um, degrees are the only way we measure angles. We can measure angles in radians. We can measure angles in terms of radians. Now see, what is a complete um, angle? Now look at this. We can have something like this. Let, let me continue with this before I move into um, conversion. We can have another line this very way. Then this guy is still starting to this very point. So as you can see, we're all measuring all of these angles. Now, the more, the wider the two lines, the more the angle. The wider these two lines, the more the angle. Now see, what if this line comes round back to its starting point? What do you think it has completed? It has completed one revolution. If you have, okay, let me put it here this starting point if you have a particular um, line and this thing moves round for example it goes round now what has it completed one revolution now this very single revolution is what 360 what degrees in terms of angles so normally they will tell you angle in a circle is what 360 degrees so this complete revolution is called what? 360 degrees in terms of angles. Now please take note that this same movement, this same movement can be the circumference of the circle. It's possible. It can be the circumference of this very circle. So is it possible for us to actually find a relationship between the circumference, the circumference and revolution? if that is the right thing for me to use. Is there a way we can do something like that? Yes, there is. Because these two things are actually the same. When you move around a particular shape, you have actually moved around the circumference of that very shape or the perimeter of that very shape. So these two things are actually the same. Now, what is the circumference of a circle? The normal formula for it is 2 pi r, right? That's the normal formula for circumference of a circle. Equal to... What is a revolution in terms of degrees? We said it's what? 360 what? Degrees. Now please take note, this 2 pi, this radius can then be called radian. Are you seeing where radian comes in? We'll then call this radian. Equal to what? 360 what? Degrees. Now that means 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degrees. That's the meaning. So it means one revolution is 2 pi radian. Now see, let us proceed with this very guy. Now see, now what would then become 1 pi radian? 
1 pi radian, 1 pi radian will then become 360 degrees divided by 2. That means pi radian is equal 180 degrees. Is equal 180 degrees. Now see, if you're a student and you're using Casio calculator, please be careful of what your Casio calculator is showing you at the top. Take note, the top of your calculator, if this is the screen, has a place where we have the ROG. One of them is always activated when you are calculating. Make sure if you are solving and it is degree that you need, make sure the degree is activated. And radian, when it, you need it, it also should be what? Activated. I made that mistake in a particular exam. It was when I then took sine 30, I then knew that, oh, my angles were in radian and not in degrees. So right now, how do we convert from radian to degrees? Right now, conversion. Conversion will then become this very way. So conversion. The first thing we'll do is this. If you want to convert from degrees to radian, what do we do? Now, please take note. Remember I said one radian is equal to what? 180 degrees. So what do we do if you are asked to convert from degrees to what? Radian. So first question, I'll be solving it. The second question, I'll be what? Solving it. Okay. So right now, see what I want to do. First question, question number A, the first guy here. Change. 270 degrees to radians. That will be the first question. Change 270 degrees to radians. Change 270 degrees to what? Radians. Now see, remember we've agreed that one radian is equal to what? 180 what? Degrees. Now, the shortcut to this is, the shortcut to do this is this multiply multiply by pi radian over 180 degrees that's the shortcut to this multiply by pi radian over 180 degrees this is what you do if you want to convert from degrees to what radian so in terms of radians 270 degrees will then become 270 degrees times pi radian over what 180 degrees so zero will take away zero here if you look at this nine can go so if, if nine goes here you're going to have two nine here is what theory so that means 270 degrees is equal to what theory pi over two radian that's the meaning so it means 270 degrees is equal to what 3 pi over 2 radian. Or somebody can say 3 over 2 pi radian. So this would be the answer if you are converting from degrees to what? Radians. Now, like I said, this is a shortcut. But many persons might not really like doing this. So what some persons will do? Alternatively, alternatively, alternatively. Now, since 1 pi radian, pi radian, is equal to 180 degrees. Now, somebody would then say, since I need to find 270 degrees, I'll put 270 degrees here, and I don't know what this will give to me. So let me call this x. Then what would the person do next? Cross multiply. So the person would then say, this will times this. So this will then become s times 180 degrees will give you 180 degrees x equal 270 times pi radian so that's 270 degrees pi radian what would you do next to get your x which you need you then say divide both sides by what 180 degrees so this is 270 degrees pi radian divided by what 180 degrees so what you need would then become 270 over 180 we've already calculated for this and this was 3 over 2 pi radian so as you can see this is the answer this would be the result when you are converting from degrees toward radians two conversion 
from radians to degrees. Now, when converting from radians to degrees, when converting from radians to degrees, it's still very simple. See what I would suggest. If you don't want to go through this alternative method, you can say multiply by this will then become 180 degrees over pi radian. When you multiply by that very expression, you are going to be getting what? Your answer in degrees. That's the meaning. So see this very illustration here. Question A under that. Change 4 over 5 pi radians to degrees. Change 4 over 5 pi radians to degrees. Now, what did I say you do here? It's still the same thing. You just have to say um, solution, then 4 over 5, 4 over 5 pi radian will then be equal to 4 over 5 pi radian times, you then use this very expression here. So this is 180 degrees over pi radian. Now what are you going to see here? Pi radian will cancel pi radian. So what is left, we then have 4 over 5 times what? 180 degrees. So this is 4 over 5 times 180 degrees. Press the calculator, let me see. So we'll then be having 4 times, this should be 720 divided by 5. So what would this give to us finally? 144 degrees. So as you can see, Conversion from radians to degree is very easy. Now, alternatively, alternatively, you can still go through this process if you wish to. You can still go through this process. Okay, I think I should solve by that. So you can still go through that process. You would say, it's so what you simply say. You will say, one pi radian is equal to what? 180 degrees. So what do you need to convert? You are converting 4 over 5 pi radian. So since this part deals with radian, you say this is 4 over 5 pi radian equal to, you don't know what answer to give to you. So you can call this side K because you don't know what answer to give to you in degrees. You do not know. So what would you do? Yes, you then cross multiply. So when you come to what would then happen? This will times this. So this will become k pi radian, k pi radian equal 180 with times this. So this is 180 degrees times 4 over 5 pi radian, right? So this is k pi radian equal 180 degrees times 4 is what? 720. 720 divided by 5 is what? 144 pi radian. Now what do you need? Okay, this is in degrees. What do you need to find? You are finding k, right? So can you divide both sides by pi radian? Yes. Pi cancel pi, radian cancel radian. So k is equal 144 degrees, meaning that 4 over 5 pi radian is 144 in terms of degrees. Thank you very much for watching this very video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.